Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Cyberpunk 2077 video. Now look, there's a lot of awesome shotguns in the game, but not all of them are easily obtained and the best ones are kind of hard to come by. So in today's video, I want to show you where you can get the top 5 shotguns in all of Cyberpunk 2077 as well as their location. So if you found this video helpful or entertaining, please by all means follow, like, and subscribe on all social media platforms, but especially right here on YouTube because it definitely helped this video get out there in the YouTube algorithm. Alright, the first weapon that we're going after is the DB4 Palica. Now, this weapon, I really haven't found it but one location, at least the legendary version, right here at the Second Amendment Weapon Shop. I haven't found the blueprint, have never found this in game, so if, if you know, please by all means let me know down below. This is the only place I know where to get this awesome weapon. Right here at the West Wind Estate in Pacifica. So head down over here to this weapon shop, the Second Amendment. We're going to pick ourselves up this awesome smart shotgun as well so head in over here now the thing is when it comes to these different legendaries well the price is going to be different depending on your level i'm level 50 right now so it's going to cost me over 350,000 eddies but it all depends on your level so just keep that in mind now as far as the shotgun it's an absolute beast and a ton of fun to play with this weapon i'm not even going to be at you it's a lot of fun playing with this weapon so yeah not only are you going to have a lot of fun but yeah it's one of the best shotguns in the game next up we have the carnage shotgun now the carnage shotgun is one that we can actually get in game without cash it's going to be located right here at the city center downtown area right here by this cyber psycho mission once you head over here you're going to get a good old call from our girl regina jones giving us the down low on basically what's going down in the hostile area with the cyber psycho take out the guy get yourself the lovely reward which is this awesome shotgun now this shotgun can be crafted you will need a level requirement of 30 fyi but once you get this shotgun well you're pretty much going to have a downgraded version of the mox well if you don't know what the mox is we'll get to that a little bit later but this weapon is an absolute beast it's a whole lot of fun i'm telling you if you're looking for a shotgun and you're going with the shotgun bill you won't be disappointed with the carnage not only does it give nice knockback effect you can get one or two shots and you're pretty much taking down pretty much anybody Next up, we have the L69 Zoo. Now the L69 Zoo is another one of those weapons that I only know where you can buy it. The place where I picked this up at is in the city center Corporal Plaza area. Now once again, I haven't found this weapon in game as far as without spending Eddie on it. And I haven't found the blue pit. Maybe it's not in the game, but look, I know where you can buy this. Now you need to head over here to this elevator and you want to take this all the way up to level 4. So head up to level 4 and up there we'll have our weapon shop. So make your way all the way up here and make sure you bring some 80s with you because once again this weapon is going to cost you some cash. It all depending on your level once again. If you're level 50, well this one's going to kind of hit you in apocalypse a little bit more as you're about to find out right here. Now, this is a lot of money, all right? 437,000 eddies. Yeah, almost a half a mil for this one shotgun. Hey, but look, it's definitely worth it. If you can't get one of the best shotguns, which we'll go over a little bit later, this is the alternative to it. The L69 Zoo is an absolute beast. It not only dismember enemies, but it does the job just well. Next up, we have the Mox. Now, the Mox shotgun is an awesome weapon that we get from Judy. Now, in order to get this weapon, it's going to take you some time as you need to keep progressing your missions with Judy. Now, you don't need to romance her. Thankful we don't have to romance her because we would have to be a female in order to do that in order to get the weapon So thankfully we do not have to romance her, but you do have to stay on her good side Now after you finish doing all your missions with Judy Well, then she says she's gonna head up out of night city and leave you the keys to her apartment Now you should get a call or a message from her a few days later Letting you know that she left something for you in her apartment and for you to go pick it up so 
that's what we're here for. Head on over to Judy's apartment. You can either head in through the front or you can head into the back entrance. But once you make your way over into Judy's apartment, which you now have access to, well, sitting right here on the table will be our nice, lovely, iconic shotgun, which can be upgraded all the way to legendary. So yeah, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The Mox will be sitting right here on the table waiting for you so all you have to do is pick this bad boy up craft it up and get yourself all the way up to legendary now once again you have to finish all of judy's side mission this is basically the last mission okay and then she's going to head up out of here in night city so if you're having any issues with any of these different legendaries that i put out or you having a little hard time locating hey just hit me up down below in the descriptions and i answer all of your questions so you know, don't worry, I'll walk you right through it. All right, now that you have the legendary mock shotgun, how well does this weapon do? Let's just say this. It's the second best weapon on the list because it's fire. You're gonna spit hot fire at everybody that you shoot and it has a really good knockdown distance. Now coming in at the number one spot is the Bai Ching Chung legendary shotgun. Now look away right now if you don't want to be spoiled because we're gonna have to actually beat the game. That's right, don't look away right now because it's too late, <laughs> but you're gonna have to actually beat the whole game. Now, after you beat the game, then you'll have access to get this awesome shotgun. It's gonna be from this guy right here. That's right, the guy that has just been stalking everybody in the game, Adam Smasher, well, he has a nice little secret hideout and in that secret hideout, well, he's gonna have that shotgun waiting for us. It's gonna be located right over here in Watson Northside. So, that's what we're gonna do. After you beat the game, well, this is how you're gonna get the shotgun. Head over here to the Eubank Dots, and uh, once we make our way over here, we're gonna be marking a location where there is this giant, huge oil tanker type of ship that we're gonna head to. Now, you can't really mark it right here on the map, but boom, there it go right here all right here we are ladies and gentlemen right here by the Udang docks that's the fast travel location and right over there where you see that marker well there is adam smasher's hideout now when you make your way to this area there is a few ways that you can get inside of here now you can walk straight up to the gate and you can force your way in but you're going to need a body level of 11 now you might not actually have that depending on your bill so if that is indeed the case well there are these little containers that you can jump up on. And once you jump up on there, uh, there's an entrance way right over here to the left. And uh, make your way in here. Now, once you make your way inside, well, we just need to head on over there to that oil tanker. So, once you're inside of here, you're going to follow the same direction where I'm going. Now, once again, if you get lost at any time, please just let me know down below and I'll walk you through it. All right, once you make your way to that truck, it's kind of going to be like a marker for us. You're going to make a left going through the door make right going through that door and then there will be that tanker head up these stairs and then all you have to do is just head inside now if you head over here before you beat the game there will be a code on the door begs the question if you had the code well, there is a very good chance that you can get this shotgun before you beat the game but hey i guess that's what nexus mods are for so once you make your way inside here is adam smasher's secret player no big mystery right here. This weapon has been around for quite some time since the game came out. But hey, if you're watching this video and you don't have it, you're in luck because this is one of the best shotguns in the game. I take that back. It is the best shotgun in the game. Here it is, the crafting spec to the Bai Ching Chong. Now there's a whole bunch of other weapons that you can pick up. So yeah, you might wanna go ahead and pick these up, dismantle them, get you some materials. It's totally up to you. But once you get this weapon, go ahead and craft this bad boy up. It can roll with chemical, electrical, physical, and thermal damage. Now, compare it to the other weapon, which is his other counterpart, the L69 Zoo. Well, it is an absolute beast. It outshines the zoo. And it also comes with this lovely perk. You have explosive rounds, and it also rips enemies to shreds. It does exactly that, as you're about to see. By far, the best shotgun in the game. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you're gonna get the top five legendary shotgun in all of Cyberpunk 2077. Once again, I hope you truly enjoyed this video. Now, if you are new to the channel, hey, how you doing? 
welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpo Gaming. I upload a wide variety of videos ranging from updates, tips, tricks, glitches, guys, news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed the Cyberpunk 2077 video. Now I am doing a giveaway for Cyberpunk 2077. Links will be down below in the description. There's just a few days left. With your help watching videos and commenting, it really does help the community grow, help the video get out there, and I'm able to give back more. So thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.